Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lecture, we will understand what is JSX. We are going to understand what is the benefit of using JSX. JSX is crucial in React. In my opinion, it is very important thing to understand before working with React application. In the previous lectures, we had learned how to create React element and a component where the process of creating react element and component is really very messy when creating a nested element using create element method is very complicated to understand how the output should look like now let's look at the following example if you read this code you will find there are two elements that they are nested and have some properties so how readable is this compared to the standard html do you think this code is eloquent? Isn't it? The standard HTML is more comfortable comparing to this code. So to solve this problem, React introduced JSX. JSX is a JavaScript extension that provides synthetic sugar for functions calls and object constructions. It may look like a template engine or HTML, but it isn't. The benefit of using JSX is this. JSX make code more easier to read. Using JSX, you can modify your code easily if you are familiar with the standard HTML language. The most important benefit of using JSX is to write less code, which means they make fewer mistakes and they are less likely to develop repetitive stretch injuries. In a sense, JSX is a small language with an XML-like syntax, but it has changed the way people write UI components. Previously, developers write HTML and JS code for controllers and views in an MVC-like manner, jumping between various files that stemmed from the separation of concerns in the early days. This approach served the web well when it consisted of static HTML a little CSS and a tiny bit of JavaScript to make text blink. This is no longer the case today. We build highly interactive UIs and JS and HTML are tightly coupled to implement various pieces of functionalities. React fixed this broken separation of concern principle by bringing together the description of the UI and the JS logic. And with JSX, the code looks like HTML and it is easier to read and write. Now, let's understand how JSX work. JSX is compiled by various transformers into standard ECMAScript. You probably know that JavaScript is ECMAScript too, but JSX isn't part of the specification and it doesn't have any semantics. So, as I said earlier, JSX is not a specification of ECMAScript 6. We are using Babel to compile the JSX into JavaScript. You can also call this process as transcompiling. So let me first describe what is the meaning of transcompiling. Transcompiling is a type of compiler that takes the source code of the program written in the one programming language as its input and produces the equivalent source code in the another programming language. So here we are using JSX syntax and transcompile this syntax into ECMAScript. Let me show you the process. So first, we will type JSX code on the document. The code written in JSX is transcompiled to the JavaScript code. And then the browser will execute this JavaScript code easily. Now, you know the process of JSX. So we will take a small example to understand JSX. In the previous lectures, we had learned what is Babel and how to use it. So we are using the same Babel tool and create JSX code and transcompile it into JavaScript. So we will get the help from the Babel tool and this Babel tool will do the heavy lifting for us. This code will transfer the JSX into pure ECMAScript code. So I will just open the Babel tool and write some JSX code. So this JSX code will transfer into pure ECMAScript code. This JSX code looks like a standard HTML, but it is not. On the right side, you will get your ECMAScript code. As you know, React used the pure JavaScript code to build their component. So you can see we have a pure ECMAScript code on the right side. 
Using the Babel, we will transcompile JSX code into pure React code. Now you tell me which code is more easier, on the left hand side or on the right hand side? Of course, on the left hand side, because most of the developer familiar with the HTML syntax, right? So using the Babel, we will convert JSX into pure JavaScript code, right? In the next lecture, we will create a React element using JSX. That's it. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to remember this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.